JBN, we keep you informed. Dad in shock after daughter got arrested for stealing baby. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. The family members of the woman, the police have accused of abducting a five-week-old baby last October, are distancing themselves from the 21-year-old, claiming that they had no idea the baby she returned home with last December was not her son. Speaking yesterday, the accused woman's father, Arnett Ramsey, said the family was torn when lawmen swooped down on their home on Finch Crescent in Cockburn Gardens, Kingston 11, shortly after 10 a.m. yesterday and slapped handcuffs on his daughter, who is now in custody. The man said it was at that time that he learned that the baby, believed to be four-month-old Nair Frank, the baby that he had come to love as his grandson, was in no way related to his family. According to Ramsey, his daughter was heavily pregnant when she left home in October for Spanish Town, St. Catherine, where she indicated that her partner had been living. He said while they remained in contact, it wasn't until last month that she returned to the community with the baby. Everybody thought it was her baby because she was pregnant, straight up. She looked like she lost her baby. When the officers came, they said that the baby looked like he was in immaculate condition. The whole family had it that it was her baby, so I have no idea how she came in contact with having this baby, a seemingly alarmed Ramsey said. He said that even with the widely publicized reports of the missing child, the family remained unaware that the baby might have been stolen. The child's mother, 17-year-old Alia Ray, was reportedly walking with them along Russell Road in St. Andrew on October 13 when a motor car approached her with three men aboard. One of the men reportedly alighted from the vehicle and forced Alia and Nahir into the motor car before taking the child from the mother and shoving her from the vehicle. It further emerged that the mother had purportedly gone to meet individuals she had met on social media who had offered her items for the baby. Me rip up because me never have no sign that my daughter would have done something like this. I know when people fall in a depression, them tend to do some erratic things, but I had no sign that this, this is what was happening. My daughter is a past student of the Queen's High School. My daughter was fun-loving and everybody loved her. I have no idea. I didn't see this coming. If I had the slightest idea, I would have returned the baby a long time, said Ramsey, who added that he's happy that the baby has been returned to his family. I am thinking that my daughter would have never stooped so low, knowing all that she had been through, knowing that she lost her mother violently when she was nine years old and she's a twin. I raised her. In 1998, her mother bring her, come and give me, and it's me and my mother raised her. So knowing that she went through that, how can she go put somebody else in a situation where she grew up in her? So I honestly didn't see this coming. I don't know what influenced her, he added. He said too that he's still in the dark as it relates to the identity of the men who allegedly snatched Nahir and handed him over to his daughter. She's not that type of person to be hanging out with the wrong company. So who are these people? Where them come from? How she mix up with them? He questioned. Ramsey said while he's deeply disappointed with his daughter's alleged actions, he remains supportive of her and is actively working to retain a legal representative on her behalf. Another relative of the accused who spoke also said the family was blindsided by the young woman's alleged actions. She was walking up and down in the community with the baby in her stroller. She added a breast with the baby for how long, the family member said, adding that it was a possibility the baby was stolen because the accused partner is a man with money. The relative said the child was spotted in the community of the woman by a passerby recently and the police were alerted. Yesterday, communication officer for the Jamaica Constabulary Force, Senior Superintendent of Police, Stephanie Lindsay, said a baby believed to be Nair was brought to the halfway tree police station. She said while well, Alias said the baby found his Nair, DNA testing will have to confirm this. Up to this morning, the child remained at hospital. Meanwhile, the teenager shed tears of joy after being reunited with her son. Honestly, I feel like I want to run and scream. I feel excited. I can't explain all the emotions that I'm going through. But all I know is that I'll never give up on my son. I am so happy. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.